Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Welcome to the month of October. Praise God. What a wonderful time. And, and, and this year, God has been so gracious from January. And we have crossed over to the month of October. Now, you see, the beautiful thing about the Spirit of God being with us, just like Jesus said, He will be with us and He will be in us. Is for this purpose that he will cause our minds to align with his own. Okay. Now, sometimes, you know, people go, all this thing that you gave, you know, pastors give message for the month. And th those things are very, very important. Very important. Now, God guides us according to where he's been bringing us from and where he's taking us to. See, and sometimes people go, um, why? Is if everybody's hearing from God, why are they not saying the same thing? The truth is they are all saying the same thing from different standpoints. Yes, they are saying the same thing from different standpoints. Now that's the truth about the gospel. We are all saying the same thing, but looking at it from different angles. And that's why people get confused. But the truth is we are all saying the same thing. Everyone God have truly called is saying the same thing. Thing. And very soon, as we keep growing, we will now realize that, oh, why, we, why were we arguing five years ago? I understand you now. You're actually saying the same thing I've been saying. <laughs> Praise God. That's why you don't argue, argue with people as a preacher. Just say what God has commanded you to say and leave it that way. Let everybody say what God has commanded them to say. See, the message is not different. The message is one. All that needs to happen is for us to grow in knowledge. And when we do, and that knowledge, that growth is by the Spirit of God, not by our own study. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, so we're in the month of October. And, and incidentally, the Hebrew, uh, the Hebrew calendar begins this year in October. I know when it coincides with the Gregorian calendar. It, it's coinciding this month of just in a few days time this month of october that tells you that this is a very unique month and and let me tell you this we are stepping into a season that it will take only god to pull you through that's why the lord has said to me he said listen the month of october is a month of prayer is the month of prayer now as we go further you will understand and 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 we have uh, a prayer meeting going on right now via zoom so i'll encourage you to join the next watch we pray according to the watches so wherever you are you can link up um, via zoom and join the next prayer meeting now it may be going on right now depending on when you're watching this it may be going on right now or it may be going on it may come on in 30 minutes time or but just make sure you catch the next prayer meeting and god how how through the spirit of god i'm going to be revealing um, a lot of direction that the spirit of god is guiding us into even when he says it's a month of prayer what kind of prayer are we supposed to be praying the kind of prayer that he is talking about for this month and going forward is unique and those are the things i'm going to be sharing with you but before we do that hey can we call for that daily bread? Now, this is the first day of the month. So it's important you tune your mind and tell yourself how this month is going to be for you. Listen, this month must be different. When I say different, better than what you have ever experienced. Because the Bible said the path of the justice has a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. So your life should keep getting better and better it shouldn't be the it shouldn't be getting worse no rather it should be getting better see if you are trusting in the lord it should get better so when we make demand for our daily bread not just what you say your mind must carry the truth and what's the truth i know this month my daily bread supply will get better praise god thank you holy spirit are you ready join me right now say father on this first day of the month of October, I demand my daily bread. 
from your hands, Lord. And I receive all of it. And Lord, this month of October is getting better. I receive increased supply in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, so turn your Bibles with me to Luke chapter 18. Now, this is a popular scripture. Luke 18. Now, it says, verse 1, Luke 18 from verse 1. It says, then he spoke a parable to them that men ought, men always ought to pray and not lose hearts. Now, when the Lord said this is a month of prayer, don't think he's telling you to go and pray. Just you go and pray. No, he's telling you the walk of the Spirit of God. Now, that's when, what, what, when, whenever God speaks, you must understand where he's speaking from. So you know how to walk with him. A lot of people just don't know how to walk with God. They hear the voice of God, but they don't understand God. So they don't know how to walk with him. So God says, this is a month of prayer now. And someone says, ah, I must go and pray. I must go and pray. You can pray and still miss God. You see, when God says this is a month of prayer, the first thing you must set your mind to do is to receive his word. That's the first thing you must do. How do you receive his word? Father, I believe what you have said, that it's a month of prayer. So Lord, I submit to the workings of the Holy Spirit. Because when the Lord gave the word, he didn't just give it to us. And he's not telling us what he's planning to do. He is telling us what he has already set in motion, okay? Now that means all the angels know the season we have entered. According to their map, according to the, the, the writings, the script that they have. God informing us is not so that he will begin to do something about it. God informing us is so that our minds, we will tune our minds and see what the Spirit of God will begin to do and how the Spirit of God will begin to guide us. You see, So when he says this is a month of prayer, he's telling you that the Holy Spirit is going to be causing you to pray more. So, what that tells you is, if your mind is not tuned, even when the Holy Spirit is waking you up to pray, because a lot of people are going to be experiencing this. Now, we, when I'm telling you what the Lord is saying, I'm not telling you for myself or for our own ministry. No, see, I, I, my relationship with God goes beyond the walls of a ministry, see. I, I, I like to fellowship with the Lord concerning Him not me. So when I seek the mind of God, I'm not seeking the mind of God or what he's thinking for me. Sometimes I just want to know, what, what are you thinking about? What's on your mind? Okay. What's on your mind? Just you. I mean, your, your, you see, not what you're thinking about me. No. What are you thinking? You know, just like we say, a penny for your thoughts. No, a penny for your thoughts concerning me. No, a penny for your thoughts. And then it goes, I'm thinking of how to get this across to this. Like, oh, wow. Wow, I'm here with you. You're thinking far away. Now, that's what I want to know about God. Beyond me, I want to know what's on his mind. Yes. See, because when I know, it helps me adjust myself. Now, you now notice that it increases your intelligence. It increases your knowledge. It increases your wisdom. Because if you know what God is thinking, it will add vocabularies to your thoughts or to your words. It will bring ideas to your mind. Because now, when he tells you, he has brought you into the equation, okay? And now you want to get involved with what God is doing or what God is thinking. You understand what I'm talking about? So, it's a month of prayer. The Spirit of God is going to be stirring up God's children to pray. So all of a sudden, you begin to wake up at unusual times. Now, when that happens to you, I'm telling you now, because I'm bearing witness to his word. I'm telling you now that when you begin to notice that you're waking up at unusual hours, even in the night, when you suddenly, even in the daytime, you're, you're walking or you're doing something and you have a little break, and you're thinking, well, what do I do with this break? And suddenly there's a quickening in your heart to pray. Can you just yield yourself to it? 
yield yourself to prayer. The, the, the Holy Spirit is going to be walking through the earth with this. I don't want to use those spiritual words. People use no fire. You know, he's lighting. Now, now, we can describe it in different ways. You understand what I'm talking about? But the manner the Holy Spirit is walking through this month, which also is the is is a new year. Now, I have come to accept that this is this is personal now. I've come to accept that God's timing is actually with the Hebrew calendar. I've come to accept that based on many years of personal dealings with God and experience, okay? I don't know about you, but I realize that God always gives a new assignment about this period, September, October. Now, that's a realization for me, not, not something... I, I'm not saying God told me that. I've realized over the years... Whenever God is giving me a fresh walk, a fresh assignment, you know, it comes about the spirit. So I knew that before I even understood the Gregorian calendar is separate from the Hebrew calendar. Now, I, I never used to pay attention to all those things until God connected me to my spiritual father, you know, Apostle Kure. Now, Apostle Kure is, he, he functions in the office of a prophet. And one who functions with the office of the prophet is too conscious about timings and all those things. Okay. Now, by the time I, I got to start understanding those teachings, then I realized that, oh, could it be? This is the reason. And even from then, over the years, that's continued. So it just makes sense for me to get to that point where like, I think this is God's timing. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, so now I'm not saying discard your other timings. No, because those timings were set up by authorities. But if you remember the things I was sharing with you um, to, last week, okay? Remember, we're talking about the lights and time. And there are, there are areas we didn't get into, you know, in that series. There are areas we didn't get into. Areas where how... how how destinies are changed, how, um, you know, they will call it the spirit of delay and all those things, how those things, how people's destinies are manipulated. They are manipulated with lights. You see, yes, they are manipulated with lights. So if we go further in this teaching, sometimes even Apostle Paul had to advise Timothy that, look, avoid these things, right? Now, not because they are wrong, not because they are not important, it takes some deep spiritual focus. So when it comes to teaching people, it's difficult because it's you can't carry everybody along in that understanding, okay? Because we, we can begin to probe into why we have different timings around the world. Yes. There are different reasons. Now we can use the natural reason. Oh, um, because the sun, as the sun is rising, this place is setting in another place. Okay. Now that's the natural meaning. But then we go into a long stretch of time and, and, and things like that. There are lots of things we can talk about, but it's not in every forum we can speak freely of certain things. Now in this particular forum, we try, I try to keep it as normal as something you can understand but when we go deeper in different kinds of meaning we can now begin because that's how you have enough time to explain okay meetings where you can spend hours not just uh, this 20 minutes and, and 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 talk and then say no even when we break it down i try to keep it normal but now that we're going into the season of prayer we're going to a month of prayer i trust the spirit of god to bring you to understanding to bring your heart to a place of understanding because the kind of prayer that the spirit of god is going to be dealing or walking us into is the prayer of becoming please take note of this prayer of becoming there is a level we need to rise to 
Hai kum ne fari kosa benda fra itokasha. This prayer is not praying for things. This prayer is not praying for, oh God, I want money. Oh God. See, there are depths you walk with God that certain things don't become your concern anymore. There is a place you walk, you and God will walk in. Money will be the least thing on your mind. Yeah, you still be dealing with needs. You still be need, you still need to pay for things. So, and if you have to pay pay for things, you need to buy. But then you realize that that becomes the least of your worries. Why? Because where you have entered, you know, Daisy Osborne made this statement in 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 one of her books. She said, "Work on being, not on having." See, because with what you are, you will have. I'll say that again. Work on being, not on having. Because with what you are, you will have. Okay? If a man becomes the president of a country, he doesn't need to be concerned about accommodation. He becomes the property of the state. And the state takes care of his feeding, his accommodation, his movement, everything around him becomes a responsibility of the state. See? Why? Because he became the president of that nation. So, the same thing with God. If you want to increase on what you have, it's not by going around seeking what you need to get or seeking money. No. Seek rather on being. Seek to become. Because once you become, there is there are certain level of um, provision that will be made available for you, and that that goes beyond what you pray for. That goes beyond none none of those things. So as we begin to look into the months and set our hearts to pray, a lot of things are going to begin to first change about you. I have to tell you that first. Because, thank you, Holy Spirit. It's a month of prayer. We're going to be teaching a lot by the Spirit of God. But then you are going to notice that the Holy Ghost is doing something in you. And, and the relationship I see taking place between you and I and, and the Holy Spirit is I'll bring words. Then the Holy Spirit will stir your heart to pray. And when you pray, you will become what we are talking about. Not you struggling to become now. You will just notice that you're becoming. And being, and, and when you start becoming, what's going to be happening? Shells, scales, um, um, things will be falling off you. So suddenly you will just begin to notice that, I can't remember the last time I was ill. This is not like me. Me? Every month? Uh -huh, something is happening. You're becoming something. You just realize that, hey, I, I used to be scared before, but I noticed, ah, yeah, because a fellowship is going on. I pray for you this month. The thing the Holy Ghost wants to do in your life is beyond any human communication. He is the one that will communicate it by himself. So I pray for you that your heart will be open to receive. I pray for you that this month of October, Kaliba Sopra Itoka Menabri, can you just say these words with me? Say, Heavenly Father, I submit to you Stay up my heart that I will become like you. Stay up my heart. Give me utterance according to that which is written in heaven that I may speak your mind at all times. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
If you can speak in other tongues, can you open your mouth right now and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Someone you're watching me, you just got filled with the Holy Spirit. You just began to speak in tongues for the first time. <laughs> That's the Spirit of God walking. Continue, don't stop. Don't stop. It's just the beginning. There are realms, there are depths He wants to take you in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I rebuke right now everything that will become a stumbling block a limitation a distraction to everyone that is following and watching me right now i rebuke that thing right now in the name of the lord jesus christ everything that i've held you bound and have caused limitation in your life they are rebuked right now the chains are broken right now in the name of the lord jesus christ i release you to the liberty of the holy spirit someone's tongue is being loosed right now thank you jesus <laughs> yes someone's tongue is being loosed right now uh, you will notice that there's a new boldness to speak. Yes. <laughs> a boldness to speak. I I atoparote never do manianda kashaya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> we give you praise, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise God. Like I said, join the next prayer meeting via Zoom. <laughs> Let's go deeper in this thing, praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.